this is a situation where the child suffers from multiple health issues. And in fact, the family, while they have expressed that they have all of the ingredients, ingredients that would should allow them to successfully claim for asylum, they are in in such fear, in 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 such fear that the child's very life is at danger because of the illnesses that he suffers from. And so for those reasons, they have said that they rather go back and face the inhumane circumstances than to face, regrettably, <laughs> Belize, an inhumane situation here in Belize now. This is a situation where every single minute that the child is not with, its, with his caregiver, with his guardian, it puts the child's life in peril. It's not just simply, I want to be with my child which is a human right in its own self that the, I, the, the, it's a human right that the child should not be separated from from his parent unless a judicial body has said that they should be separated where there's no evidence of that on the face of it right now second to that is that this is a situation like you said dale which is which is exponentially made exponentially worse by the medical condition that this child faces Again, I, I use the example and to say that I have no choice but to sympathize. I mean, I have a three-year-old son and I can't imagine him being separated and being placed. And he has absolutely no medical condition whatsoever. Just And I can just imagine if I would not have been, was in a, some foreign country and not been able to know that for, with, for absolute certainty that he is good. The parents have not been able to even speak to the child through no, not even a virtual um, medium. Just imagine that deal. So the state of affairs is absolutely uh, unacceptable. And I hope that the government steps in and whosoever has the power at their hands to fix this situation. Okay. It's an absolutely easy fix, which can be fixed rather quickly.